Welcome back everybody, Clint here today with Classic Firearms out here at Fort Scott Munitions and Battle Line Tactical continuing on their well, two-day course here. We're starting to transition now from pistols, uh, where I'm still running the SIG P320 VTAC, which I'm liking a lot. Now we're transitioning over to rifles, and of course you've noticed this very naked, very light Mark 18. It's almost disgusting how lightweight and not enough stuff there is on this, but it's okay. We're gonna start transitioning now to rifles and rifle transitions to pistols and so on and so forth. I know I'm utilizing the word transition a lot, but that's because that's what we're doing. So you will see here coming up quite a few rifle manipulations and then manipulating the pistol, inducing malfunctions, reloads, so on and so forth, transferring to or transitioning to secondary. It's gonna be a good time. These videos are for you guys. This is for you to have a little bit of an idea what to do whenever you go to the range. Instead of just sitting at a flat range like this, uh, where you're just kind of like taking a shot here shot there if you are in an area that allows you to actually move that act that actually allows you to transition from secondary to primary and so on and so forth or primary to secondary take advantage of some of the stuff that you're learning today in these courses uh, it's pretty interesting stuff being led by Chris Tonto Peronto and Mike out here so stay tuned we're getting ready to kick it off right now I've got a couple of loaded up mags let's shoot this stuff and let's let you guys learn a little bit on top of me learning quite a bit so first and foremost for the you guys that do have the Daniel Defense, a big thank you to Daniel Defense for being a sponsor and supplying this. This is awesome. Without these sponsors, we wouldn't have this opportunity to do this. So this is something that I'm grateful for because I get to run an awesome gun. If you're not familiar with an AR or this is your first time with it or it's just something you're still learning, I like to set up my AR where it works as I can balance this gun in my hand with my palms open. Granted, I'm not gonna walk around like this, but this is an extension to my body, right? This is simply my high ready. It's almost the same as we did with the pistol, but now I have two points of contact. What is this in between me right now? It's separation from my body, right? We see officers, we see law enforcement. This, this is more practical. It's easier, it's lightweight. Put it on your sling, let it hang, right? But if you pin my gun here, I'm in a tussle to fight you to get this gun up. What does this become just like the pistol, right? Not only is it separation from my body, but what is it? Blood object. It is a blunt object. This is a bludgeoning tool. This is, again, bolts clear I won't sweep you guys but this is strike right this is strike if you got hit in the face with a magwell would you stand there and take it no you're probably gonna be like well there goes some of my teeth as you're falling back what does that falling back create it creates a separation anytime you're not aiming at your target what is your weapon on safe. safe exactly anytime you have your weapon pointed at a target Fire or safe, it depends on you if you're ready to shoot or not. Anytime that weapon comes off the target, what is it on? Safe. Exactly, exactly. I want us to practice that all day today. On this high ready today, I don't want to be a fisherman. I don't want to go, right? And I don't want to go. I want to be able to simply stab out, seat that stock, rotate that switch, and get in on that gun, right? I want to be a solid movement into the gun. How fast that was, I'm already on safe fingers on the trigger. I'm ready to rock and roll. Right? As I come out, simply put, push that gun off. Right? And you're saying, Michael, why am I pushing it off? Well, for those of you that have plates, you have to create that separation from your armor. If you have shoulder straps and you run your butt stock on the outside of your shoulder strap and you start moving, the gun slides out. I prefer to be the most uncomfortable guy in the world that says slam it into your collarbone. Meaning as TJ has right here, I'm going to probably slam it right in between here because now if that stock moves, that plate carrier is holding that stock stationary. So from this high ready, this is simply put, we're going to be at that high ready, punch out, rotate that selector switch on that target, squeeze that shot off. If that gun goes empty or it goes click and it doesn't go bang, no problem, we're going to transition. Now with that being said too, when you transition to your secondary, if this gun goes empty, I'm going to pitch this idea for you. You can choose to operate how you operate your equipment. If this gun goes empty and I have a secondary, am I gonna take the time to go to safe? Probably not, right? If I feel that bolt lock back, we all know what that spring feels like when that bolt locks back. It's a lighter, we have a distinct sound and a distinct feeling to it. I'm saying that safety, because that gun's empty, right? It's already safe, I'm getting back into the fight. Now when I bring that gun back up, reload, top off the mag, weapon on safe, right? I'm not to say that this is incorrect, before you transition. Please, if you can maneuver that gun quickly and effectively, go with it, put it on safe. But if this gun bolt locked back to the rear or it malfunctions, if it malfunctions, you're not getting it on safe. You've got the secondary for a reason. This sling, right? 
This is something you guys probably don't have a lot of instructors touch on. If they do, great. It's very important to understand. This sling can be used against you to take your weapon from you, to choke you out, to beat the living out of you with it, right? I personally like a two point sling versus a one point sling because when I go into my transitions, you're gonna find real quick, sometimes that one point sling is a little bit tighter. That one point sling typically is for those short SBRs, AR pistols, ones that can be hugged up tight to you. This is where you have the opportunity to work through it. These slings, you can fish out and you can fish in, meaning I don't have to have my hands on the sling to come in, to come out. You can take the time to do this or I can say, I'm in the gun, I'm in the movement, I'm here, right? That's how fast it went versus having to take my hand off the gun. You can go like this and transition your gun, but what does this do? Kind of makes it tight, right? It kind of makes it a little bit difficult to move the gun. It is up to you how you carry your weapon and how you have your gun slung. Again, I want you to practice it. What I like to do is be able to swim in the sling and swim out, just as I showed you, rotate over, rotate in. But as I'm into this gun here, where my weapon goes click, not bang, I am going to drive this gun while this hand simultaneously comes down. I'm going to go two motions, right? I am guiding this gun out of the way. Can I drop it? Yeah. What's in between our legs, gentlemen? Mm -hmm. I know, I know all about it. I've done it too many times. And for you, those running cans, you do this a couple of times and you burn the shins and your knees and everything else, just say, okay, Michael, I understand why we guide this gun down, right? As I'm here on this rifle, I am simply going to transition and let it come into its place. Now, there's many methods to this too. I want you to go with what's best fit for you. For me personally, I like to do this. Bring that gun back up, hold for this one, get this gun back into the fight, right? Some people prefer to have this, holster, bring the gun back up. Some people have a different method to the madness. Find what works best for you. We're also gonna incorporate reloads. You can bring that gun here, you can take that mag, come in, straight in, drop that bolt right into the gun. You can take this gun and you can come in, right to that high ready, find that, find that home, send it home, get back into the fight, rotate right over. Or, you could come here. Which one would be the least preferred method? That one. That one. Why? Because I'm looking down, right? This is my preferred method because again, I can see the mag roll. I can see that it seats. I can rotate over. Something to take into consideration for the right-handed shooters. The bolts on the right side. You cannot see when that bolt locks back to the rear. You learn to have the distinction of the feel. However, I would like you guys to take this step by step to go as I come into that reload, I seat that mag, I drop that bolt. I don't wanna drop that bolt from here and not visually look at what I'm doing. Why? I could create a malfunction. I could not have the round send it home. I could, I could have a jam and not know it, the bolt drops. And how many times have we had the bolt drop? We click and then we look, right? So as I come into this gun, gonna get that gun back into the fight. I'm going to reload. Rotate the gun, drop the bolt. As I do that, I'm right back into the fight. I'm allowing myself elimination of human error by seeing what I'm doing. I just want you to get that acclimatization of looking at the bolt to understand why, the reasoning behind it, because I'm going to induce malfunctions next. I want you to be able to work through it. If you haven't worked through malfunctions, today is gonna to be the day. I can't tell you there's one set way or one right way because there's many different types of malfunctions. You could have failure to feed, you could have double feed, you could have triple feed, you could have over top of the bolt. All of these things can come into play. Today, you're typically gonna have just a failure to extract because we're gonna stick that stick right in there into that bolt and it's gonna cause a failure to extract. How do we work through that? Well, number one, don't keep feeding rounds to the gun, right? Drop the food, take the food out, take this mag, drop it out, rack it out, get your finger in there, however you need to to get that gun back into operation. If you have a secondary, get that secondary up, fight, 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 and then bring that gun back into line. What we're gonna do is we're gonna come up on the line, we're gonna work the high ready real quick. After we do the high ready, we're gonna load our magazine. You're going to expend your 30 rounds. We're gonna take our time, we're gonna do 10 shots, just like we did with the pistol starting out this morning. After those 10 shots, Jeremy and I are gonna walk around and start inducing malfunctions. Once we work the malfunctions, then we're gonna drop back to that empty mag once we spend those 30 rounds. We're gonna go one mag in, one round in the chamber, take that full mag out, 
and have that empty mag, put it in. Does that make sense? Crawl, walk, run. Everybody tracking? Let's get online, let's do it. I wonder if I got lucky. Oh, God. Just safe and semi. We're going headshots. We want this to stop now with this rifle at a distance in a room, anything. I want that headshot. So get it sighted in and then just you guys stay up on the head, okay? Stay up on the head. I'm recommending to you guys. No, I'm telling you guys. It's not heavy enough or suppressed. It only says that it's a Mark 18. It's an imposter. So see how we're tucking in this butt sock? Do we see this right here? This is a great example. This is what we want to eliminate because we don't want to eliminate our body movement in a mechanical structure of mobility. Okay. So let's bring this gun right here. Let's allow it to come off our body a little bit. Nice and relaxed, right about there. So if you opened up your palm, this gun would lean into your forearm and hold right. Does that feel about comfortable to you? Sure. That looks good. Nice okay. job. Great job. Mike will cant a little bit. Excellent. Mine will start straight up. I don't think it's a big difference. The reason is just I think I can get on my target quicker, but if you want to cant it a little bit, that's fine. And when you do your single point, you can guide it. Essentially, like I said, I have never hit myself in the nuts dropping it. So take it for what it's worth. If you want to drop it and just get to your gun, go for it. If it hits you in the nuts, I'm sorry, but I've ne it's never happened. What was the number one thing I saw with the high ready? Yes. If you eliminate this arm in mobility, all I got to do is pin this arm. How are you going to get the gun, right? Think about it, how am I gonna get this gun if I pin it into your own body or you do it yourself? What if you have plates on? If you pin this into your plates, how many times have we had mags fly out when we try to drive the gun out? So if I'm here, I have separation. I don't have anything causing a snag, snare, or catching on my equipment. And then from here, I simply drive that gun out, rotate that selector switch, squeeze that trigger, weapon on safe when I come back out. Does that make sense? Excellent. Take that selector switch, take the out of my shot, weapon on safe. I need the kit. Right back into it, right? Stab, seat, rotate, squeeze. Man, that's like a song. Stab, seat, rotate, squeeze. You got it? Cool, I'll stop talking now. Shooters at this time, 10 shots at your pace. Stand by. Bust. It's hot, go to high rate. Move this up just a bit, keeping in mind height over bore. Not bad though, I mean, I'm happy with that group. But pulled that one out, pulled that one out, that one. Yeah, I feel pretty good about that, so. Until my weapon is on the target, my weapon stays on safe. Until I'm ready to effectively engage and fire on my target, my weapon is on safe. Up, I'm in, down, I'm safe, right? Up, I'm in, down, I'm safe. Find what you're aiming at, allow the optic to come into that point of reference. If you start chasing the squirrel like you do on a red dot with a pistol, you're never gonna hit the target, it takes time. Find what you're aiming at, allow that optic to come into it. Simply put, as I'm aiming at my target, weapon's on safe, I come up, find it, fire my shot, back down. I come up, find my shot, fire, back down. I see where I have my adjustments, I come up, find my shot, fire, back down. I want you guys to do five shots from the low ready up. That'll give me 13 rounds to work with for some malfunctions. Does everybody understand the course of fire? Excellent. Busting. I'm ready. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you? Oh, he is ready. He present out. Nice job. Fire. Are you ready? Yeah. Fire. Yes. That's a happy day. One more. Fast. 
faster. Wait till I get to you. Go ahead. Go ahead. Drop the mag. Next time I'll just go to pistol and just call it a day. See the bad part about that is, I don't know what the malfunction's gonna be. I, yeah, I should have surprised him when he done it. It just. Yes. Yes. Smiles. Yes. We're gonna do this again because I want to see you accelerate the pace, but you're going to do it in front of your peers this time. This is where it induces a little bit of stress, right? It shouldn't be stressful. We're all friends here. Guys, if you can't see, watch this. One thing that he's going to do, one thing I didn't stress, but you all should have been doing it. I think some of you were. After you fixed that malfunction, you got back into the fight, right? You shot that next shot. All right, shooter, stand by. On you, present. Work through it. That was fast, but at the same time, it was smooth. He took his time, he got in there, he checked the mag well, right? We might be able to clear that malfunction, but what he's doing is an extra sweep to check, right? Because if I go to load and there's another malfunction, I didn't know it, I could cause another malfunction on top of it, right? All right, excellent job, thanks brother. Thanks man. All right, ready, go. Great job. Next guy up. Why don't you pick the old guy? I mean the young guy. <laughs> go. Go, go again. There you go. Great work. Great work. Next guy. Good. Good. Through it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's show off. <laughs> That's how you do it. <laughs> I told you guys you have a primary and a secondary. All right, next up. Great job. Great job. On you. Ready? Yeah. Work through it. I'm having them do this. He's about to shoot when I went there. Go. Should have grabbed another mag. It's all right. Work through it. Great job. Hey, that was real world. Could have been your only man. I'm going to show him exactly what I want to show him. Alright, go ahead. I already moved my swing. Alright, work through it. Go drag. Oh. So, who is my one out of all of you that transitioned to your secondary? Clint. Where, where is it? Clint. Show off. Clint, come back here real quick. One thing we always have to take in consideration is that's a tool, I'm the weapon. I know how to make other weapons work, right? One gun, two gun. Oh, I got to put these away. They're lethal, right? <laughs> He transitioned to his secondary. I knew I didn't have an extra mag. I could have worked through it, held that mag, but I have a secondary here, right? Now I gave you the opportunity earlier to work through it and I wanted you to work through the malfunctions. You had the option. How many of you thought about actually going to your secondary? Did it even click when you thought about it, when the <laughs> malfunction came? Or we were so sucked the into beginning. the drill, right? Oh, go, drop it. It. We're task oriented on the drill of working yeah. through the malfunction, but we had a secondary perfectly functioning and working, right? That's the next drill we're gonna step into. What you did was excellent. What all of you did was excellent. You fought through it, you worked through it, you got the malfunction cleared, you got back into the fight. But do you see how fast it took me? Did you see how fast it took him to get that follow-up shot? That's what I want you guys to go into the next drill. If we don't have a sling on the gun, no problem. I come into the gun, the gun doesn't work, no problem. I'm right into it, right? That gun is a tool. That gun will work. If it does not work, well, I shouldn't have spent that much money on it, right? Right? You guys have great defense weapons. Daniel Defense, they will take a beating. This gun will take a beating. If I don't have a sling, drop the gun. Get it out of your hand and get back into the work. Get back into the fight, right? Evil knows no face, no place, no time. I want you to be proficient in your task and drills. You may need this one day, you may not need this. I pray none of you ever need this, but having the skill set and the knowledge behind it is what's gonna make you a better, more proficient, and a more safe shooter. Today we see, we drive that gun out, shoot, and we bring it right back. Why did I bring the gun back? I'm still, I just presented my weapon and fired my weapon. I'm probably gonna go to court. I'm probably gonna turn my weapon in for several months, right? So start to think here. You stop everything and you begin everything here 
This is just an attachment to you. So now with that being said, we're going to work the next drill from primary to secondary. And then I'm gonna pull you all right back here on the spot and we're gonna do that again. Okay, so find your respected lanes. Let's go into our transitions. So right now we're gonna do a rifle to pistol transition. I'm gonna be doing two shots on the small left target, really small guy, drop the rifle, come up with the pistol, two shots right above the target's left shoulder on that small target. So, uh, yeah. Right here, you have multiple options on how you reload. Your bolt is gonna lock back to the rear. As that bolt opens, you have two options. Drop it right here, you can strip. Just like that fast is lightning fast, right? Let gravity assist. Bring that gun off that shoulder. Drop that mag, drop that bolt, send it home. Back into the firing box. Once you do that, drop that full mag. Pick up that empty mag. Do not, do not do this. Take your time, continue looking down range, secure your mag, right? I just want you to not get in the mentality of looking down, I want you to look down range. At pace, fire, weapon on safe, drop that mag, insert that secondary, get back into the fire, back up. I'm not rushing myself, I'm just going at pace. As I accelerate at the pace, the weapon system does its job, right? Who's the weapon? We are, this is just a tool. One round reload, one. One round reload, one. Third. Mm. Nice job. Can't all be pretty. Guys, we've gone through malfunctions, we've gone through weapon transitions, we've gone through reloads. Now we're gonna incorporate all three of them, right? We're gonna be coming down the line, causing malfunctions. Here's what I want. We've got an empty mag, right? We got one round. So that means once that round locks back, bolt to the rear. Transition to secondary. Get back into the fight. Engage your target. Drop that front or that secondary. Reload. Get that first primary back up. One shot. Let them hang. Everybody understand the drill? It's gonna look like this. Fire. Let it hang. Come up. Fire. Back in. Bring that gun up. Find that secondary, that primary. Drop it in. Fire. Just like such. And then we're gonna repeat the course of fire. Grab that empty. Leave that one in the chamber. Right back into the gun. Everybody understand that course of fire? Excellent. Let's do it. It's time. Stand by. Let's walk. I'll call your shot. Hey. Let's start walking. Hey. I'm going to sprint. Hot ready or is when I run, I don't run like this. If I do pump the gun to drive my legs, right? Allow it to work in unison. I can run like this, right? This is probably more natural, right? Or low ready might be natural, but with the low ready, what happens? Right? If you're going to drive that low ready, here. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna slip. Gonna I'm gonna slip. Back. I'll give you the same drill. I'm gonna bust Drive my back. butt. Fix it. Bust it. Nice. Nice shot. Nice shot. Keep coming. Look where the wood. Look at the piece. Find it. Find it. Good job, guys. Good job. Good job. 
Nice job, baby. Do our turn around. We're sliding a bit. Pump your brakes, man. Start to ratchet it down a little bit early. If you've been any through beyond normal limits driving courses, or you've ever been through some high, high, high stress level driving courses, when you're going into a turn or you're going into a stop, you usually start to brake early. You got to do the same thing out here. What you're going to do, guys, if we're just pressing and stepping, I'm going to have this. I'm going to have somebody come here, and the boat gun's going to fly straight up. Pump your brakes when you start to get to that turn. Start to pump it down and slow down a little bit earlier, okay? You're on marbles out here, so you gotta stop earlier. Or you're gonna spin out. Hey guys, what Chris is talking about is very crucial. We're seeing a lot of sliding. If you fall, right? Take it. <laughs> Take it. Uh, keep that uh, ride it up, right? I can say ride it back, but you got people behind you, right? I can say ride it down, but I don't know where that gun can move, right? Simply put, I'm up, right? If I'm moving and I'm going to fall, I control this. I control this. My body will fall, but this is what I'm focused on, right? Here we go. Bust it. There you go. Bust it. Bust it. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Nice, it's close. Mark 18 duel. Mark, Mark 18 bros. This guy. This is where it's at, man. Bust. Oh. That was good. That was good. That was sloppy on my part. Locked in, bro. Woo! Because you was out of there, but you stayed locked in, boy. All right, my next two. All of those heart rate up and everything, fine motor skills just go out the window, so to speak. Ready? Ready? Why you stop? Whoever wins from this one goes against you, and then that's the winner. Boss battle. I had in a while. You watch yeah. <laughs> Listen, that I remember good. my first time shooting, it just wasn't today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, oh, eyes man. and ears, you can take them off. That, that concludes was, our day today. Oh, man. That's good, man. Dude, right here is a dog. He's a dog. You know what? I'm coming for this dude. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs> All of this. I'm right coming. Here. This right here. This, this is after we go, it's going down tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs>